Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones. I was actually about to call this Grand Theft Auto, that is bad. Last time, we met Ross and Garcia. They've joined the team, yay. Cause, yeah, you know, we kind of got sidetracked on our quest because we saw a town in trouble, well, village, and we had to help out. We did the right thing. Unfortunately, Erica got her chain uh, snatched by a thief, so we gotta give chase to that, you know. Go get your chain back! Erica and company pursue the thief who stole her bracelet. Their chase leads them into the mountains where Bosba's bandits pillage at will. Erica cannot ignore her countrymen's pleas for help. She leads her group in search of the bandit's stronghold. They ain't gonna get away with this. The bandits of Borgo, yo. About to beat they ass. They gonna learn today that they snatched the wrong jewelry, okay? Okay. Also just checking something here. All right. The local villagers tell me that Bazo's bandits keep their lair nearby. A few of them saw a lad matching the description of our bracelet thief. It seems a fair guess that the youth is one of these bandits. Bandits? Here in Reneus? Or Rene? Renai? <laughs> Screw it, I'll just pronounce it however I do. Our homeland. I had no idea. I'm pronouncing it like I heard on Thomas the Tank Engine, okay? Cut me some slack. Burning our villages? Stealing from our people with no fear of reprisal? It wasn't always like this. The knights used to protect the citizenry. Citizens and citizenry. That is a tough word. However, with Reneus in ruins and her army tattered, law and order are hard to find. It doesn't look like the Great O Army is interested in maintaining order here. If nothing changes, Reneus will continue the sad plunge into savagery. Uh, hello? Pardon me for asking, but. Are you all some sort of mercenary troop? Why do you ask? P please, you have to help calm. You have to. I told him it was too dangerous, but he wouldn't listen to me. Please, you must calm yourself. Start at the beginning and speak slowly. All right. <laughs> I'm Amy. I'm from... I used to be from a village named Lark. Except the village is gone. Gone? What do you mean? Bazwa's bandits burned it down. Only Colm and I escaped. The other villagers... The bandits attacked them and... Naomi, what are you doing here? Bazwa's bandits... They have a hideout here in these mountains. That's where Colm... Um, Colm's my... Uh... We've known each other since we were kids. He went to steal back something the bandits took from me. He went alone? That's a very dangerous thing. Yes, I know. That that's what I told him, but he wouldn't listen to me. If I lose Colm too, I don't know. I... I'll... <laughs> Wait, please don't cry. Don't worry, we'll find your friend and see that he's not harmed. Really? Really and truly? Oh, thank you! Thank you! I... I don't have much money, but I'll do anything to help. Your Highness, what will it be? If the thief we're after has gone to the bandit's lair as well... Well, it seems as though we share a common cause with Naomi. She is a citizen of Reneus, after all. And isn't it our duty to defend our countrymen? I'm only sad that we weren't here to protect her friends and neighbors. So, yes, I feel we must help her. Very well, Naomi. I trust you can lead the way? Er, yes! It's this way! Um, is there anything I can do to help? I feel so... When I was little, I used to go hunting with my grandfather. What I mean is I can... I'm not bad with a bow. Really? Uh-huh. I see. 
You should remain behind and protect Princess Erica. Hmm, not sure who's out there, but it looks like we've got guests. Let's give him a warm welcome, lads. You see a stranger, stick an axe in him. Alright, so if the tutorial was active, this would be when we learn about opening doors and opening chests. So yeah, we got... Oh, wow, you got a chest key, my dude? Okay, you got a door key, my dude? Alrighty. Oh, and we would also learn about archers as well. Ain't Nami is an archer. She's level one. Holy shit. Okay. Um, hand axe. Oh, you're gonna be annoying. Yeah, the rest only have regular axes. We got an archerist over here, iron bow. You got a hand axe as well, my dude? Okay. Steel axe and pure water. Iron sword and antitoxin. Steel axe and hand axe. You are going to be frightening to deal with. And we have you. Regular old thief with a regular old iron sword. Okay. So, here's Nami in action. I believe if this were the tutorial, she would get a critical hit. Probably would not be getting one. I could be misremembering. So yeah, there's the archer in action. Um, whatever, start breaking down that there wall. Uh, I forgot actually where I want to position her. I'm not gonna lie. For reasons, you'll 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 see shortly. Meanwhile, I guess I can start mobilizing everybody else. Um, you just chill right there. Oh yeah, you, you're not equipped with anything. Um, do you have a javelin? Can he do 14 with the sword though? I might have to have Erica take care of this. Oh, okay, yeah, we got that, all right. Yeah, I want him to be ready for that brigand who's gonna come and attack him. And then we can open that chest. Woo! Um I'm gonna leave the wall intact. Well, yeah, we, we can do that. Just you can Oh, you don't get experience off of that, that's right. Well, I just wasted a hatchet use. Oh well. But we're good now. I'm sorry, what? I'm a little mad that actually hit. We got a chest key. There he is. And here we go. Ha! And not a soul saw me. These bandits are easy picking. I guess I might as well start with these chests here. Okay. Time to recruit a new unit. C calm Namie? What are you doing here? I told you to wait for me, didn't I? I couldn't. It's too dangerous. Come on, let's go home. We don't have a home. Don't you get it? Look, just leave everything to me. I, I can take care of it in a flash, but I don't need a clumsy oaf like you tagging along. But, but... Oh, this is ridiculous. We'll talk later. Don't leave my side, Naomi. I... Alright. Just rude as shit, my dude. Rude as shit. Oh yeah, he's joined us now. And his face looks a little familiar. A little familiar. Can you take him out with the hatchet? Hmm... No. I also thought he would attack the wall. I'm shocked he didn't. Um, I kind of want you to get the kill, but... Also, you're not doing much of anything, but I'm afraid that if I attack you, 
you will move out the way and the archer will come for blood. Because the archer will come for blood. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> will that archer come for blood? Okay, um, do, 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 do. well, just so you can get some experience, my dude, go ahead, heal up. Should probably set your animation off. This is gonna be like very long when you're up here trying to heal everybody. Um, fine, I'll let Garcia get the kill here. Or I could have Erica do it. But she's probably gonna take on Bazba. Oh, but he's level six with a steel axe. I wanna actually be very careful about that. Um, but Garcia didn't really get a chance to shine. Let's go. And we got a dorky. Which I could probably use there if you don't go up and open it yourself. So, also with a thief, you can have them steal. You cannot steal weapons, but for example, I can steal that pure water off of him and I can steal that antitoxin off of him. And thieves can also open chests as long as they have lock picks. Also, you actually don't have a lock pick. Oh, well that disrupts my plan. Okay, well, um, huh, that's gonna be interesting. Ooh, javelin. I could just leave you there. Do you have a javelin, my dude? Okay, well you about to have one, cause you already, oh, but you don't have one. Ooh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Got plenty. If I put him up there, yeah, there's like nobody who can theoretically attack him. He'll be safe. And it's a brigand, like th thieves got so much speed. And then I'm thinking back to Franz getting hit with like a 34% chance, so. Let's, let's just hold back and like, wait, see how things go. Okay. Of course. Of course. I, I have no words. None. What's your level at? Level two, is he weak enough for Amy to get that kill? Really? They're a one turn? All right, fine. Um, well now we're about to learn how supports work next turn, cause we min max in here. I'm opening this chest. <laughs> we can talk later. Iron Lance, I did not need to purchase one for you. Oh, well, that's what the convoy is for. And Garcia will definitely be opening this door so I can preserve my lock picks. Yeah, scoot on up through there. Anybody needs healing in the immediate area? Well, you do, but it's gonna take Molder a minute to get there. The dad is on his way. Okay. Let me, all right, just, just had to check one thing. Okay. We're good to go. Is Garcia, uh, one more turn, all right. Meanwhile, a hand ax. I don't need one of those. Um, I guess I could give it to Seth just so he can wrong button there really man 
Okay. Um, I could give the hand axe to Seth just so, like, he can provide some semblance of backup. It would be nice to have you have a non-weak weapon, but, eh, the hatchet is still good. It's light enough. Yeah, I will give it to Seth. Like, I'm not going to not use him for all eternity, but... I'm just going to prefer not to rely on him. Anyway, let's support. Naomi. Oh, hi, Cole. How are you doing? This is no time for pleasantries. You need to concentrate in battle. I was just being polite. I never thought I'd see you on the battlefield. Well, I might not be the best, but when something needs to be done, I do it. It's amazing how war affects people. I mean, look at you. You're a bumbling crybaby, but even you've pulled yourself together. Temporarily. Uh... When we were little, you followed me everywhere, tripping and crying. Oh! Why are you always so mean? <laughs> and now look at you. You're still following me everywhere, tripping and crying. But now you're doing it on the battlefield. Will you please stop your boohooing? Okay. I'll try. Man, you can't do anything without me, can you? And stop crying! But... What is it? You're the one who's making me cry! Ugh. That was a support! <laughs> I forgot the, uh... I forgot about his little attitude there. But yeah, um... For those of you new to Fire Emblem, uh, you can have support conversations uh, depending on how long certain characters are standing next to each other that will sort of increase like their little affinity with each other that's an invisible value but it's static for different characters so for example with them they got their c-level support by just standing next to each other for one turn uh, whereas like off the top of my head i know seth and erica can have a support i believe theirs is when they're well Okay, they, you don't even have to be, like, next to each other, just... I believe it's within a two or three square radius? Regardless, um... Yeah, Seth and Erica's... I think that sort of gets into, like, 20 turns? Somewhere around that number. Could be more, could be less, but... Yeah, I know theirs is, like, fairly easy to get... See, so yeah, off the top of my head, I don't remember all the supports for uh, each character here. I guess closer to the end of the game, I will say, like, who can have a support with whomever. Um, but yeah, like, another good thing about supports is, like, once you start getting to, like, the C level and B level and A level, that can have an effect on your stats for battle. Like... Raise your evasion, raise your critical rate, etc., etc. Good stuff, yo. Good stuff. But yeah, I'm not gonna be relying on supports like that because some of them you kind of have to grind for. <laughs> like I could see no feasible way of getting certain supports. Oh, and also because this was still uh, the GBA era, each character can only have five supports. So, technically speaking, I could max out uh, Calm and Naomi, like get all three of their supports up to uh, the top level, and then give him two more supports with one more person, and that'll cover his five. Or you could have like one person have five C-level supports with people. Probably not recommended for that, but that is gonna be like the most likely outcome for quite a few people who play this game. Do you have anything the thief might want? <sighs> that vulinary. He's gonna start getting attacked. That's gonna be a given. I just wanna make sure he'll be ready. Could put Gilliam up there, actually. Screw it. Oh, wait. First... 
Yeah. We gonna be ready. Okay. Get this chest. Iron sword. Yeah, send that to supply. All right, we're doing good. We're doing well. We are doing swell. Just getting everybody ready to roll out. Was not expecting this outcome. I guess I should have seen it coming. Genuinely was not expecting that outcome. Um. Wow, they got me here. Uh, I don't know how I want to handle this. Um. Hmm. They got me. Uh, <laughs> um. Please hit. Damn it. Okay. Let's get him out of there. If that would have hit, that would have worked out so well. Um, let me just get rid of that archer at least. I kind of want to prioritize Ross, but at the same time, I need to get started on aim or Naomi because level one. Mm -hmm 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 -hmm. Just wait. This is fine. And go ahead, heal him, get your experience. I really don't want him to be like right there. Oh, you don't have a hand axe anyway. Bazba's not gonna move. I'm not worried about that. Okay, I'm slightly worried about that actually. But we'll be fine. Like, usually, like, on any C's uh, goal, the boss is not going to move from their spot. I don't know, sometimes I just be overly cautious like that, you know? The javelin is not going to hit, but I'm still going to do it just to weaken you. Oh, wow. Nice. And then the lack of critical hits I've been getting, wow, has been very disappointing. Also, I could have kept that door key and just broke down this wall. Huh. Did not think that through. All right, we can wait one more turn. Yeah, I knew you were going to come up and attack. You st oh, no, you just stole the Vulinary. All right, but never fear if a thief steals something from you. Never mind. I'm going to have to steal it back. Okay. Um, <laughs> I thought you could, like, just get it back, beat them, and it's yours. But no, it wasn't flashing green, so that means uh, no dice. So, that's my Vulinary, and I want it back. And you do get experience for stealing. Okay. Meanwhile, easy experience for Naomi. There we go, level up. Get your stat, gang, girl. 
Strength and luck is fine. Anybody need healing, by the way? Screw it. And I'm sorry, I'm just taking this so very slow. <laughs> but considering I have this donation incentive on uh, characters dying, I'm trying to be careful. Oh no, now you're just attacking. Like, how dare you steal from me after I stole from you? Nice experience game. Alrighty, so you just have a steel axe. I want to lure you out. So right here will be fine. That will also lure out you. I can move you to the diagonal of here, but I'm going to want to heal you first. Yeah, I should really turn off Mulder's animation. <laughs> but hey, he's close to leveling up, finally. Uh, yeah, move you right here to lure him out. Honestly, let me just move Seth there. He can lure them out. It it'll be fine. Uh, I don't think Vanessa can make it in there. Yep, nope. Not quite. I have to keep thinking before I say her name because I am dead ass about to say Florina. Yeah, whatever, buddy. You did go for him. Hmm. Oh, uh, he's not going to be able to make it around. Oh, he can. All right. Will that lure out? No. Yeah, I'd rather just steal. We need space. Um, You're not going to do much of anything here, my dude. So, yeah, just hold on to that extra iron lance. Wait. I'm min-maxing thievery. Hell yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. Hmm. Because Vanessa hasn't been doing much of anything. I want her to get in on the experience game, too. Might be best to have her interact with that, uh... Mercenary, though. But, I mean, they haven't been giving her much to work with. Archers and brigands, they will destroy her. And I want to avoid that by any means necessary. Only ten? Okay. All right. I love her form. She putting in work with that sword. Now, moment of truth. Well, it might be best to have you go for him. Oh God. Uh, yeah, no, use that hatchet. <laughs> There we go. Good job, Ross. Now. You can attack twice on him now? Go on, girl. Yeah, I'm not going to have them attack. This is for the lower level people. Now. 
Who needs healing? Heal that one HP. With my minimal use heal staff. Alright. I need to start getting Erica into position. Now. Yep. Lure him up here with Seth. Get my ranged fighters ready. Because they're going to be the ones to take him out after I get Seth out of the way. Do you have a javelin? No. You do. Who needs healing? Alright, fine. We'll just wait. Okay. We got a choke point. Bam. Nice hit rate, though. R really nice. Or percentage, rather. Okay. I should have traded. That's on me. Um, give me that pure water. I don't even think I'm going to need antitoxins for a minute. But he has it, and I want it. And we leveled up. Okay. Well, that happened. Um. All right. This. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm. I'm a little. I'm a little upset about that one. This will not even hit him. I can attempt. Might as well. Yeah. Probably should have went with the hatchet, honestly. Yeah, you're still level one. Okay. Oh, that's not going to be enough. All right, get, get your son out of there. Text message? Uh, all right. And then, oh, that will destroy him, though. I want Vanessa to get experience. Oh, well. There's always next level. Okay. I also need to figure out how I'm going to take care of Bosba, because he can attack from a range. I might want to give Seth the weapon just to weaken him. Cause yeah, with that level six, dude, dude, dude. No, actually, it'll be best to have him switch to the hand axe, cause that's weaker than his steel axe. But should I give Seth a hand axe? Wait, he can't even use it. You're not it. Oh my flipping god, I was thinking of I forgot they nerfed paladins. I forgot. One moment. All right, back. Yeah, I, I I forgot that paladins were nerfed for this. Cause um, yeah, they they, they were able to use axes in uh, the other two 
<laughs> Game Boy Advance games. That's not this one. That's Ucha. All right. Well, that was a waste of a trade. Um, but at least we can still have them switch up. Um, mm, I just took it for granted. I, I l just flat out took it for granted. Wasn't even paying attention to his weapon levels. It's like, oh, Game Boy Advance Fire Emblem? Yeah, he's gonna use an axe. Oh no, this is the only one. And then funny enough, in the first GameCube, uh, no, f first GameCube, the only GameCube one, uh, Path of Radiance, they can use axes again. I remember these facts. I'm not insane. I'm the head of this bandit pack, the mighty Bosba. Hope you've enjoyed your life, because it's about to end. Yeah, sure thing, buddy. Sure thing, champ. Sure thing, sport. Now, granted, he can... Oh, no. Really? You're only attacking once? It's a hand axe! Oh, okay. Ooh, only eight. She would have to get a critical. I mean, there's no way he's hitting her with, like, that low of a chance. Okay. I wonder... No, this... Yeah, hell to the no. Um... Take a chance, it might hit. Oh snap! Naming means business. I'm mad at you. I am not mad at you. All right then. Before I forget, just 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 give him the hand axe back. That that was a total waste. Could have you go for the kill, but honestly, let's take no chances here. I'm the mighty Bosba. This ain't. This was it, Chief. This was it. All right, that, that's a good level up right there. I, I appreciate that. And we are done. Just doing one quick sweep to see if Mulder can heal somebody. You can heal Erica. Min maxing this dude of all things. You know what? There. When he can actually start using real magic, then I will uh, put his animation back on. Though I also like to get characters to level 20 before I promote them, so we may never see him use real magic. C calm. What now? I told you not to worry. I could have robbed those bandits blind on my own. Thank you very much. I was worried. Hold on. I'm sorry. Come on. Don't start bawling. Uh, uh, no more dangerous stuff by yourself. Fine, fine. I promise. But you have to stop crying all the time, all right? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Take a look at this. Hmm? I got your mirror back. Remember how you cried when we left Lark? You thought you'd lost this. I knew it was your mother's, and I knew those thugs had taken it. So I went and got it back. See what happens when you give me a job? Guaranteed results. Oh, he does have a sweet spot. Cole. Uh, Cole. 
Hey, wh why are you crying this time? Come on, stop. Knock it off. Please, Amy. This is quite touching, but... I think you'd best return Princess Erica's bracelet to her now. Wh what are you talking about? Are you trying to say that I... Whoa, whoa, there. Hold it. It's right here. Take it. Tell me, boy. Is this the path you've chosen for your life? If this girl matters to you, you must quit this dark road. Uh, yeah, right. We're leaving. Do not expect to be rescued again. Farewell. Hey, wait. Let us go with you. You can't just leave us here. Pardon? Naomi and I, we've got no home to return to. No matter where we go, there's just going to be more fighting. You're mercenaries, right? Well, then take us with you. I'm a handy guy to have around. I know I can help you out. I would prefer not, but I'll agree with Erica's decision. Our duty is a grave one, however. We've no time to waste shepherding you. That's fine with us. You just wait. I promise you won't regret your decision. Yeah, because thieves are very good to have. I retrieved your bracelet from the bandit stronghold. Here you are, princess. Thank you, Seth. You know, father gave me this bracelet when I was a child. It is only one match in the world and my brother wears it. Lady Erica, you must take care never to lose that bracelet. It is the proof that King Fado entrusted the future of Reneas to you, his children. Seth, what is it you're not telling me? I apologize, your highness. When the time comes, I will tell you what I know. Until then, I... I see. If you tell me it must wait, then it can wait. I trust you. Then we should get moving again. We're safe from bandits for now, but I can't guarantee for how long. This... this is just the beginning, isn't it? If we hope to free our homeland, it will take battle after battle. I'm afraid so, your highness. The day you and Prince Ephraim win back the freedom and honor of Reneas will come. But I fear it lies at the end of a long and treacherous road. I know. I must fight for that day. In the names of all those I could not save, I'll lead us home. Let's go. My brother awaits. General Duso. Hey, we met her. Selena. Have you been back long? Tell me, how fares the campaign of Reneas? Signs of chaos abound. Brigands ride without fear and the peasants' cries fill the air. Hmm. If Grado's troops do not enforce public order, the situation will only worsen. And still, His Majesty has given us no orders. Perhaps, just this once, I should take the lead. What could His Majesty be thinking? Breaking our long-held alliance with Reneas, Invading without warning? He's never been this way before. He had abhors violence. And have you noticed the recent promotions? Who are they going to? Certainly not to the soldiers who have Grado's best interests at heart. I fear this invasion is the prelude to a much larger war. I feel as though His Majesty is no longer the man we knew him to be. Glenn... It doesn't matter what any of us might think of our orders. We are his servants, and we will not question his majesty's intentions. I know that, Selina. And yet... That's enough, both of you. His majesty summons us. Let's hope we can learn a little during our audience. Sounds like something's amiss. I appreciate your work in fulfilling your previous orders. You are the hammers that drive the nails of the Empire's will. You will continue to operate without hesitation. Wherever I send you. By your command. In your majesty's name. Yes, sire. However, I know this. You, my Imperial Three, lack the strength to conquer the remaining nations alone. In the invasion of Reneas, certain soldiers performed beyond expectation. 
I have chosen them to join you as new generals in the Empire's service. Come. The performance of these men surpassed even your own. With the addition of these three, the Empire will have six generals strong enough to conquer this land. Do you understand? <laughs> I am Reeve, given the name Blood Barrel by His Majesty. I know I am a newcomer, but I pray for your favor. Understood. Shut up, phone. I'm Kalik. I was a mercenary fighting in the desert. Seems I'm to be called Tiger Eye. You're a fine looking lass, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna love working with you. I agree, Selena. So we meet again. You know me as General Volter, but you'll call me the Moonstone. I'll save you worthless dogs from your own incompetence. You'll thank me later. Volter, you scum. Peace, Glenn. Selena, Kalik, you will bring me Frelia. Yes, sire. Sure, good is done. Reeve, Dussel, you are charged with the defense of the Empire. I will speak to you individually, with more details later. <laughs> Understood, your majesty. By your command, sire. And me? Walter, Glenn, I have other duties for you. Yes, your majesty. Reneus has fallen, but Princess Erica still eludes us. Her brother, Prince Ephraim, leaves a resistance within our borders. Bring the siblings to me. Ha <laughs> ha! Of course! So yeah, things are heating up. But we'll get more into that next time. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you next time for some more Let's Play Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones. Goodbye.